Intercalation or embolism in timekeeping is the insertion of a leap day, week, or month into some calendar years to make the calendar follow the seasons or moon phases. Lunisolar calendars may require intercalations of both days and months. Topic: <laughs> Solar calendars. The solar or tropical year does not have a whole number of days it is about 365.24 days, but a calendar year must have a whole number of days. The most common way to reconcile the two is to vary the number of days in the calendar year. In solar calendars, this is done by adding to a common year of 365 days, an extra day, leap day, or intercalary day. About every four years, causing a leap year to have 366 days Julian, Gregorian and Indian national calendars. The Decree of Canopus, which was issued by the pharaoh Ptolemy III Euergetes of ancient Egypt in 239 BCE, decreed a solar leap day system, An Egyptian leap year was not adopted until 25 BC, when the Roman Emperor Augustus successfully instituted a reformed Alexandrian calendar. In the Julian calendar, as well as in the Gregorian calendar, which improved upon it, intercalation is done by adding an extra day to February in each leap year. In the Julian calendar this was done every four years. In the Gregorian, years divisible by 100 but not 400 were exempted in order to improve accuracy. Thus, 2000 was a leap year, 1700, 1800, and 1900 were not. Epigominal days are days within a solar calendar that are outside any regular month. Usually five epigominal days are included within every year Egyptian, Coptic, Ethiopian, Mayan Hob and French Republican calendars, but a sixth epigominal day is intercalated every four years in some Coptic, Ethiopian and French Republican calendars. The Baha'i calendar includes enough epigominal days usually four or five before the last month to ensure that the following year starts on the March equinox. These are known as the AMI Ha. Topic: Lunisolar calendars. The solar year does not have the whole number of lunar months. It is about 12.37 lunations, so a lunisolar calendar must have a variable number of months in a year. Regular years have 12 months, but embolismic years insert a 13th intercalary or leap or embolismic month every second or third year. See Blue Moon. Whether to insert an intercalary month in a given year may be determined using regular cycles such as the 19-year metonic cycle Hebrew calendar and in the determination of Easter or using calculations of lunar phases Hindu lunisolar and Chinese calendars. The Buddhist calendar adds both an intercalary day and month on a usually regular cycle. The Jewish year is arranged according to a lunisolar system. Islamic calendars The tabular Islamic calendar usually has 12 lunar months that alternate between 30 and 29 days every year, but an intercalary day is added to the last month of the year 11 times within a 30-year cycle. Some historians also link the pre-Islamic practice of Nasi to intercalation. The solar hijri calendar is based on solar calculations and is similar to the Gregorian calendar in its structure, and hence the intercalation, with the exception that the year date starts with the hijra. <laughs> Leap seconds The International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service can insert or remove leap seconds from the last day of any month June and December are preferred. These are sometimes described as intercalary. Topic: Other uses. ISO 8601 includes a specification for a 52/53 week year. Any year that has 53 Thursdays has 53 weeks. This extra week may be regarded as intercalary. See also Lunisolar calendar Egyptian, Coptic, and Ethiopian calendars Iranian calendar Islamic calendar Celtic calendar Thai lunar calendar Bengali calendar 
Igbo calendar The World Calendar Intercalated Games <laughs>